What's up everybody, this is Chris with LAX Aquarium. Today I'm actually gonna be showing you how to properly set up an Apex system with FMM modules, LDKs, flow sensors, all of that on a really beautiful board to make sure it's nice and clean. Now we know that there's a lot of wires involved, but I'm gonna show you how to do it properly and affordable. Um, you can try this at home. Uh, click to subscribe right over here. We want you to be a part of this. Don't forget, every time we get to a certain subscriber list, we're giving away something. So uh, right now, today, like I said, we're gonna be working with the Apex system. I'm gonna be building two boards. Uh, I got two customers to install these today. Uh, we are a, an installer for Apex. We are a platinum dealer, uh, soon to be diamond, when, you, uh, when that actually comes out next year. But you're looking right now at an Apex board. We're gonna be using these little cool grommets that you can actually buy at Home Depot. They call them furniture hole covers. So if you're like putting in cables inside like a wood furniture or something like that, um, you know, you could do that. Uh, keeps the cables nice and clean. We started using that in the past 10 uh, installs that we've been doing and customers are really liking it. We have it on our system as well, so I'll show that to you later. Uh, but today, uh, they're, they're, we're installing them in actually in a Red Sea Aquariums. We do have a whole bunch of Red Sea Aquariums here at the shop. I'm gonna be just placing the camera up on one of ours soon uh, so you can see the background of the Apex products and then also watch me assemble these boards right there um, in real time. So it's gonna be cool. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, hit the like button, like what we're doing, subscribe to our channel. We'd really love to get your comments. If you guys have any comments, please leave them down in the comment section below. Uh, we're gonna be putting this together right now. So I'm gonna put you up on this uh, little uh, um, brand new Kerr 5 Elite series. Uh, if you see me walk away, that's only because I've got customers here at the shop. All right, guys. So uh, what you're gonna need is, you're gonna need a couple different bits. Uh, they have two different hole sizes. This is inch and a quarter for the two inch holes, inch and a quarter for the two inch holes. And then we have uh, two and five eighths for the bigger ones. Uh, a nice cordless drill. What I mean by apex board is just a uh, Rubbermaid shelf uh, from Home Depot. You get these for about six, seven bucks. Uh, the ones that work great are 11 by 24 inside the Reefer series. Anything that's lower than a Reefer 350 to a Reefer 250. 170s, you're not gonna have enough space. So Reefer 250, 350, 425 XL. Uh, today, I'm gonna be installing two Apexes on customers' houses later on tonight, which I'll, I'll uh, shoot some video for you. And uh, we're gonna be setting up two boards right here in front of you so you guys can see what's going on. Uh, the most important thing is placement. Uh, I find out that putting the brains uh, up on top, just like our heads, like God gave us, are super important. Uh, energy bar. I like putting the energy bars down near the bottom because it gives me an opportunity to actually hide some of the cables that I need to right up and behind the aquarium itself. Uh, and then in the middle, I like to put the modules. You have the FMM modules, which can definitely take care of leak detection, take care of your probes, uh, take care of your uh, uh, auto fills, your ATKs, your LDKs, um, and also your flow sensor. There's a couple other sensors that they have. You can put those in as well. But we're gonna be using two FMM modules uh, on this unit right here. Unboxing a core 15 pump right here. Comes with some super great uh, instructions right here. Get started video, super simple, don't really need it. I've seen them so many times. This is really what I need. I'll put everything else together later. So this is exactly how it's gonna look like on the board. We're gonna put the energy bar here, the two sensors right there. We're gonna drill the holes for everything here. We're gonna leave one down here in the bottom right corner and then I'm also gonna put one down below here and then another one here so you can go back and forth with the cables. Try to keep everything clean for the customer. You could also bring in the water from there as well. For the meantime, I'm gonna throw some tunes on. Poor pump comes with some really nice speed on here to keep the vibration down, it's super quiet pump. Pumps, it comes with this Allen wrench. If you have to do any normal cleaning, you can go right from back here. We're going to open up. So don't ever throw this out because you'll need this. This is one of the longer ones. So you'll have a hard time getting to it if you don't. Now I just placed. I just placed exactly where I wanted on the board. Now I'm going to move the devices so they don't get too dusty. Even though that I can clean them off. I'm just gonna move them out of the way as I get ready to cut. Now I'm gonna do this to both boards at the same time. So I'm gonna just cut this one right here. So now we have our holes cut. We're gonna cut another one for the second board by just lining the boards up. Simple as that. 
take two boards, line them up, and cut the same holes. simple you have uh, plenty of space to put your uh, your uh, cords through your, all your uh, probe cords uh, your aqua bus cables as well as you got your 415 right here you got the FMM modules with uh, holes opening here energy bar which you can take uh, your power cords through here and also loop them up underneath because these really don't take up too much of uh, the cable so I think this is a good looking board we're gonna make two of them right now uh, once we're done with the two we're gonna get them ready to go so you got the apex brain you got the core pump, you got the two FMM modules, and you got the Energy EVA 32. I'm gonna do the second one right now. All right, so we're still uh, just getting ready to set up the second board. We already got the uh, brain, and we have the uh, core pump, and we have the EVA 32. The customer already has an ATK at his house, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, put that module on here later. So we'll be adding an LVK system uh, to his uh, aquarium. We'll get that all uh, suited up right now. This LVK comes with two solid surface probe sensors. Uh, just in case the water makes conductivity, it will go ahead and alert you. It also can be programmed to shut off pumps, uh, leave the wave makers on, uh, turn off skimmers, every other device. So the other FMM is gonna go right over here. second board ready to go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to wire tie all these probes together, keep them nice and clean, get ready for today's install. So I'll be using a lot of zip ties. 